it's not a hard and fast rule. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm an acute care nurse practitioner in the ICU. Can't say that I, I've ever been told that like you shouldn't intubate patients who are in DKA. I, I think more importantly is that we all have to realize that patient care is individualized. We never treat a number. We never treat a single piece of data. We have to look at the whole picture. Absolutely correct that Kuzmov's breathing is a compensatory mechanism for the severe metabolic acidosis and that most patients don't require intubation. They're, they're compensating just fine. But of course, someone who is breathing 60 times a minute, you have to look at the bigger picture. The good news is, is this, this is correctable. It's usually pretty corrected pretty fast, but you also don't want to compromise patient safety. You perform an intervention, you monitor response. Perform an intervention, monitor response. You also don't wait too long before the patient be decompensates and compromises safety. So we never intubate, I would never intubate someone just because of a respiratory rate. Wouldn't intubate them just because of an ABG. Wouldn't intubate them just because they're acidotic. All that to say that patient care is not a set it and forget it crockpot setting.